Baby Yoda is freaking back. <laughs> Hello guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Alejandro and finally, finally today I'm going to teach you how to tune a snare drum. Nice. But this is not the definite way to do it. There are a lot of different ways of tuning a snare drum, but today I want to show you how I do it, the Alejandro style. But before we begin, you need to understand that the sound of your snare drum can depend on a lot of factors, such as the size. For example, the width and the height of my snares are the max tone is 14 by 5.5, the Griffin snare drum is again 14 by 5.5, the Pacific drum snare drum is 13 by 7, and finally the Mapex is 14 by 6.5 inches. Nice. The drum heads, especially the batter head. You can have a coated head, a coated head with a reinforcement in the center, could be a clear head or in this case a mesh head. The material of the snare shell. For example, here we have a metal shell, a hickory wood shell, maple wood and birch wood. Cool. And also the sound is going to depend on the size of the snare wire and the tension of it. And last but not least, is the number of tension rods. The number of tension rods will decide how tense your drum heads are going to be. For example, our Max Stone snare has just six tension rods. The Griffin snare drum has eight tension rods. Also, the Pacific drum snare has eight tension rods. And finally, the Mapex snare drum has 10 tension rods. Man, this is crazy. And the only thing we're gonna need is going to be a tuning key and if you want to adjust the snare wire along with the strainer well we're going to need a screwdriver nice perfect now we are ready to start this tuning madness let's go we are going to start with the resonant head let's go the first thing we have to do is put a drumstick under the snare wire careful careful there we go now we're going to loosen the tension rods, but we are going to lose them in a parallel way, like this. This means that once we lose this tension rod, we're gonna lose the opposite one right after it. And my recommendation would be to lose all of the tension rods with half turns. That's how we can prevent our drum head to break. On step number three, we're going to replace the broken washers. And the tension rod washers are going to help us to prevent rust from creating in the tension rod and the rim, and they are also going to help us create more tension on the drum head. The old ones were broken, look at this. Awesome, nice man. Okay, now we're going to tighten the tension rods with our fingers. Yeah, perfect. Nice and tight. What? Yay! Now we're going to tighten the tension rods with half turns. As you guys can see, here we have point A, and we're going to take this side to the point B like this. And here's another example. And now we're going to tighten the tension rods in a parallel way. And now it's ready for the first sound test. And now we're going to try to make each side of the snare to sound the same. and keep tightening till you find the sound you like the most.
Perfect, we are done with the resonant head and now it's time to tune the butter head. Let's go! And guys, just a quick reminder that Drumio is giving us a 30 day free trial. If you access with my link in the description, you're gonna have free access for 30 days to drum lessons, drum sheets, play alongs, drum your coaches this is freaking amazing you're not gonna pay anything for 30 days drum your 30 days free trial link in the description nice the first thing we have to do is loosen the tension rods with half turns and remember to loosen in a parallel way like this we can prevent our drum head to break oh yeah and just in case you're going to replace your drum head, remove the snare rim and the drum head. Yeah, perfect time to clean the baby. And here we have our new drum head. We are going to install an Emperor coated drum head. Nothing like a new drum head. Put your new drum head on top of the snare, and one thing that I like to do is to align the drum head logo with the snare logo, like this. Now we put the rim on top of the drum head, and we align the rim with the snare locks. There we go. And remember that you can stretch your drum head for a better flexibility. And now we're going to replace the tension rod washers. And remember that you can find everything about these tension washers in the link in the description. Now it's time to tighten the tension rods with our fingers. And you can do this simultaneously with both hands. And remember that you can press with your other hand for a better tightening. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tight. More tight. This is perfect. This is nice. And now we're gonna tighten the tension rods with half turns with our drum key. And again, we're going to do it with a parallel way. Like this. And remember to keep tightening with half turns till you find a tension of your preference. And now the batter head is ready for its first sound test. Let's go. And again, we're going to do it using our drumstick from side to side. And here's the thing, guys. The sound doesn't have to be perfect, but try to make it as even as possible. Let's turn the snare wire on. Snare wire off. Snare wire on. And now it's time for some snare mods, the dampening gel packs. They are going to help us to reduce the overtones. We're going to take one and we're going to place it right here. Perfect! And remember that you can move your gel pads in order to create different tones. And 
now we're going to adjust the tension of the snare wire using the strainer. Turn the knob to the left to loose your snare wire. And turn to the right to tense it. Even more tension. And even more tension. I like this one. Perfect, now it's time to do some kick, snare and hi-hat test. Let's go. Oh my god, sounds better than before! <laughs> this is awesome! And yeah, as you guys can see, this there is not a definite way to do it. At the end, it all comes down to you. The sound that you want, everyone's different, everyone is looking for a different sound. Because there's people that tell me like, man, your snare sounds like crap. And I'm like, oh yeah, you think so? Well, I freaking love it. So at the end, when you are tuning your snare drum, you need to look for the sound that you want. Not the sound that the people want, the one you want, because this is your snare. These are going to be your sound. So yeah, at the end, it all comes down to you, to your personal taste. Try to find the sound that you like the most.